This video will introduce you to common terms and lingo used in the college setting to help you better navigate your entry into NCCC. There are two main types of students, matriculated or non-matriculated. If you are a matriculated student, you were accepted to an academic program for a degree or certificate through the admissions office. This degree or certificate is considered your major. Non-matriculated or non-MAT students apply to the college directly through registration and records and are not formally accepted into an academic program. Regardless of what student type you belong to, the college credits you earn are the same. As a registered student, you will also fall into one of two status categories, full-time or part-time. Full-time students are enrolled in 12 or more credit hours, and part-time students are registered for 11 credit hours and under. Credit hours are assigned to each course you enroll in. These credits measure academic work and time spent meeting each week. Typical courses are three credit hours each. So to be a full-time student, you would need to be in the equivalent of four three credit hour courses to meet the minimum 12 credit hours needed to be considered full-time. Semester is the term used for a designated time during the year in which instruction occurs. Typically, you have two 16-week semesters called spring and fall. NCCC also offers two shortened semesters, one in summer and one in the winter. Before you register, most students will be required to complete an advisement survey online. An academic advisor will then create a plan for you comprised of recommended courses for the upcoming semester, according to how you complete your survey. Your survey responses will let the academic advisor know if you plan on being full-time or part-time, if you anticipate using financial aid, if you plan on transferring to another college after NCCC, or if there is a high-demand major at NCCC, such as nursing, that you are preparing to apply to. Registration is what we call the process of enrolling in your college courses. You will take a look at the courses that were recommended, make a schedule that works best for your work, sport, and family commitments, and then you will sign up for those courses online in BannerWeb. If you need to change your course schedule around after your initial enrollment, you can do so. We call this adding or dropping a course. You can add drop through the first week of courses for a full term course. Please note that modular courses have different dates. When you drop a course within the first 20% of that course, it will not display on your official academic transcript and does not affect your GPA. However, it can affect your financial aid if you drop below what you initially registered for. Starting the second week, you can only drop a course, and then a few weeks into the semester is when you will only be able to withdraw from a course. There are specific dates when you can drop a course and when you can withdraw. When you withdraw from a course, that course will display as a W grade on your academic transcript. Sometime emergencies or unexpected events happen where you need to withdraw from all of your courses. This would be considered a withdrawal from the college and X grades will appear on your transcript. Note that W or X grades do not affect your GPA, though they can affect your financial aid or academic progress. So it is recommended you speak with an advisor or a success coach in the Student Resource Center before withdrawing in any capacity. There are certain requirements in each major that you will need to meet. You will need to have an overall GPA and major GPA, or grade point average, of 2.0 to graduate. A 2.0 is a C average. If you're planning on transferring, we recommend a minimum of C in every course, as many colleges have a transfer policy that does not accept courses under a C. AS and AA degrees also require that you complete SUNY General Education Requirements, or SUNY Gen Eds. These courses are meant to provide a broad educational experience. You can meet your SUNY Gen Eds through electives that are chosen in consultation with your academic advisor. Prerequisite courses are courses that are taken in preparation for another course. For instance, you would need to take Math 116 Pre-Calculus before you could enroll in Math 120 Calculus 1. There are also prerequisite courses required to apply to a high demand academic major at NCCC, such as Nursing or Physical Therapist Assistant. Co-requisite courses are courses that are taken in conjunction or alongside another course. 
For instance, you would need to take both anatomy and physiology lecture with lab. You cannot enroll in just lab or just lecture. A transcript is the permanent academic record of a student at a college. It shows academic major, courses earned, final grades for each course, academic status, honors received, and GPA. Once you begin your courses, you will receive a syllabus from your instructor. Your syllabus contains all of the important information about that particular course. It's written by the instructor and it includes important dates, grading policies, expectations, and assignments specific to that course. It won't be long before you are speaking the language too and using these terms naturally. Please always ask questions if you aren't sure what a college staff or faculty member is saying to you. We want to make sure you are informed when making decisions about your education.